Okay, so I've just rung the courts, uh, rung the Department of Collections. Now I'm going to ring the courts, which is 0800 268 787, and we'll see if we have any luck with them on this. Welcome to the Ministry of Justice. Your call may be recorded for reference purposes. Great. For inquiries about jury service, press nope. 1. No. If you have a court appearance and want to check the date or time, nope. press 2. For all other court or tribunal related inquiries, please press 3. If you are calling about fine, Tinakwe. Welcome to the Ministry of Justice. Your call may be recorded for reference purposes. No, it will be recorded. None of this may shit. You either are or you aren't. Tina Gray, welcome to the Ministry of Justice. You're speaking with Stuart. How can I help you today? G'day, Stuart. How are you, bro? You good? Good, thank you. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad. Um, I'll give you a, should I give you a CRI or a CRN number? Perfect, yeah, that'd be great. CRI would be fantastic. Uh, 2023 092-001-416. Computers are made yeah. to make our life hard, uh, easier. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say harder? Yeah. Whoop, Freudian slip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I just get your name and date of birth as well, please? Sure, it's Mark Donald Eric Keane. Um, and Mum tells me it's the 6th of July, 1972, although she also told me the Santa was real and the Toothberry was um, was real, so I'm not, <laughs> not sure whether I was born on the 6th of July or not. What, do you mean he's not real? <laughs> <laughs> Why, you still believe in that? <laughs> I shot him last week when he landed on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> How can I help you today? Um, yeah, in regards to the Auckland Transport versus myself, um, I was in there on the 30th and had a hearing. Um, the Justice yep. of the Peace got it wrong and found me guilty, even though Auckland Transport didn't prove beyond a reasonable doubt I was the driver. So, one, um, I need to know what do I need to do to you, with you guys to request a, um, the legal notes, um, documents, finality, transcript of that hearing, okay. because one, I, I will be appealing it, um, and two, I got in the mail um, the fine for the ticket um, of $150 for the fine and $130 court costs. Can you confirm for me what the court costs are at your end? Um, I, I'll look here, just bear with me. Mm -hmm. J-A-T? Uh, yeah, it should be... Let me just triple check that for you. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, malacol.bc at justice.govt.nz Yeah, the man, that, that's, the, that's, that, that's, yeah. that's the standard district court email. They also have a J-A-T email, which I've been told to email in regards to judge alone trial. So I'll send it to both in regards to, yeah, the, so to get the transcript yeah, and stuff. Yeah, the, 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 the reason... The right number in that you have. Yeah, and the, then um, just obviously the request that you have as well, and they should be get back to you. Cool. And the reason I'm asking about the court costs is because on the day the court, um, the justice of the peace said $150 for the fine and $30 court costs, and now it's shown up on my yeah. thing here, $130 court costs. So I'm wondering why the extra hundred dollars? Yeah, yeah. They said that in the in the truck. I think the best thing to do is get a transcript and see what was taken down. Oh, oh, then, oh have, have you got uh, to, have you got yeah. to, have you, have you got ten seconds, Stuart? Just just a sec. Have a listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a listen. And therefore, there's no conviction in these defence to remain. You are fined one hundred and fifty dollars with court costs of thirty dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
So, <laughs> and it sounds like the the only way I can I can prove it to you guys is to ask you guys to supply a transcript. And as far as Manukau District Court is concerned, I've been searching for a transcript from January that they still haven't supplied, which is going to put a dampener on it when I want to go for an appeal. I, I mean, I'll just get the High Court to request the transcripts. If the, if they want to ignore my request for a transcript, they can ignore the High Court as well. Um, and I'll get the court to ask for them, but as far as this fine's concerned, there's no way in hell I'm paying $130 court cost. One, I'm appealing it, and even if I don't win the appeal, it wasn't $130. So, is, is, yeah, is, getting, is, is yeah. getting the transcript the only way to prove? Um, you could ask, so the only, the only way is to, is to email the court again and just ask them for a breakdown of the costs and what the costs are for. Um, oh, I'm, I'm happy to do that, mate. It, they can give me a breakdown yeah. of what the $130 court costs were and then sh prove that they just give them more rope to hang themselves. If they want to explain how yeah. the $130 court costs come out when the judge is there saying $30, then there's a little discrepancy going on between the court, the registrars and the judges, if that's the case. And granted, he was just a JP, yeah. and he clearly didn't grasp the understanding between the driver and the registered owner. Because <laughs> their own witness said I wasn't the driver of the vehicle, <laughs> so <laughs> it's a hands down win for me. It's already up on YouTube, so if you want the proof, just look it up. 30th of June, defended hearing. Um, but yeah, it seems to me the only way, so I'm sort of stuck in a bind now, that if I don't ask for the transcript, I've got no way of proving it was only a $30 court cost. Because if you got... Um, yeah, I think so, yeah. That's, I, I see it, it's it worth it. How, how, how many other people? How many other people are getting shafted an extra hundred bucks for for court costs? Is is my big question too? I mean, the the bus lane that I got the ticket on was across the road from Manukau District Court, ironically, and in four four years they've made nineteen million dollars on that one bus stop. So clearly, not, you know, nineteen million bucks in four years from one bus stop. People are still driving in the lane. I don't think the current activity is not is working, stopping people from going in the bus lane. <laughs> All they're doing is gaining yeah. revenue. You know, and same with speeding tickets. The police themselves in their own budget reports call it crown revenue collection. So <laughs> they can't say it's for any other reason. But um, yeah, I'm just thinking to myself, how many other people are getting shafted at a hundred bucks if they just, you know, most people will just pay the bill and not question it. I'm one of those irritating, annoying types of people, ask my wife, um, and, and confirm, <laughs> I love to chub, chase things down to the nth degree, <laughs> and if I've already got a recording showing it, I mean, I shouldn't need any other proof. So, perhaps that's why they don't like people recording their own court hearings. You know, because he who controls yeah. the information, even though it's my right to under the District Courts Act, you know, District Court Access to Court Documents Rules 2017, Section 12, F, I think, gives me the right to record it. So, <laughs> but, um, you know, before I even went into the courthouse, I got discriminated and harassed by the court security because I was wearing my own court security jumper that I'd made my own, and they didn't want me in there wearing the crest, which was approved by the Ministry of Justice to wear. <laughs> So, I mean, it's just, it, the, the professionalism of the court security is a joke. But, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really shocked at getting $100 over on the court costs, and the only way for me that I can think of is to prove it is to ask for a transcript, which I'm still going to be waiting for the same people to provide, which will only show that they've incorrectly invoiced me. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't get... Yeah, it's, 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 I'm just looking, because I know that I know the court costs... Mm. On each charge. Um, well, I mean, I, I, I had a I had a court hearing in January at Waitakere District Court over a hundred and seventy dollar ticket, and it was thirty dollar court costs. And the lady at the collections was busy trying to tell me that because I went to an actual court hearing, that's the reason for the extra hundred. And I'm going, well, no, that's wrong. I had a three hour hearing in January, and I was given a thirty dollar court cost because it was only a hundred and seventy dollar ticket. This one's less. Yeah. So there's no way it should double. I mean, because that's a that's a hell of yeah. a, that's a hell of a jump from thirty to one hundred and thirty. To one hundred and thirty, yeah. Especially <laughs> when you were told by the GP that it was a thirty dollar cost as well, and you've got that in record in, record in there. Yeah, Which, exactly. Um, like I said, I will put a request in just to the court there, just to say, ask them, ask them why it's why it is one hundred and thirty dollars. 
Mm. Um, and then see if they come back with something from that. Give them more um, rope. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, definitely. Give them more rope. I like you, Jim Stewart. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Well, you have a good day. That's sort of answered it to my point. That the only option is to really email them and, and hit them up for the, yeah, for the writing. Yeah, get something from them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Okay. You have an no awesome day. Thanks so much. See ya. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Stuart, I mean, nice bloke. But I've just proven to him and to the, and to the, uh, the court of the collections, that it was $30. Now granted, I could be playing any video. Okay, whatever. The, the video clearly is the entire hearing, so if they want to argue it wasn't that trial, well, they can go through the transcript and through my audio and cross off the words for being absolutely correct. And if it is wrong, it means their transcript's wrong, because I don't think the audio record got it, wrote it down wrong, did they? The only error there could be in the actual transcription service not typing down the transcripts correctly. And we don't want to say that the transcripts are wrong now, do we? Although, you can't beat audio recordings. Anyway, guys, there's the update. I will be emailing them, and we will see how we get on. Bye now. You are fined $150 with court costs of $30. Thank you. Can I ask how the court, how the prosecution proved I was the re uh, the driver? You were the registered owner, and you did That's not that's file, not in debate. Pardon? It's it's done. Yeah. I'm just just curious, Your Honour. No offence at all. No. Okay. Thank May you. I have a copy of the transcript from today? You can apply to the court for a transcript. Sure, I'll put an application of documents for my analogy. Thank you very much. Have an awesome day, sir. Thank you.